Hi, I'm Cassie Kozrakoff, and today I'm going to give you a quick demo of how to simulate binary data in Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. It is super simple. And the scenario here is that we are going to taste a lot of coffee for science. To spare our livers, we want to make sure that we do it right. And so before we get and analyze any real data, we're going to create some fake data that looks kind of like what we're going for, just to make sure that we apply the right methods when it's showtime. So the first thing that we're going to do is create an ID column to keep track of everything, and then a random number column where we're going to simply simulate a uniform random number from a zero to one. We also need a taste column. We'll start out expecting that for every cup of coffee, it's going to be either good or gross. And there's a little if statement here, and let's unpack that for you. You see, in my column B, I'm going to have a random number, and I'm saying if that random number in the appropriate row, B2 in this case, is greater than 0.2, then I'm going to say the cup of coffee is good, otherwise I'm going to say that it's gross. So I'm going to get a random number in that column B, and then based on what that random number is, my data for taste is going to be determined good or gross. Instead of 0.2, let's make it just like a coin toss, 0.5. Then if I go to that random number column and I put equals R-A-N-D, then I can get a random number. I'll autofill that all the way down. And then when I pull this formula down, what I see is that based on what that random number was, I get good or gross in my data. And here's another good thing you can do. You can make a setting parameter that you just need to change in one place to change your whole simulation. So I'll put a point to there. All you need to do is point to that setting variable and you're going to use the dollar signs to make sure that when you pull that formula down, it doesn't change. So that's dollar sign D dollar sign two. You pull it down and that stays constant for you. And then you can use that parameter setting to determine how your simulation is going to work. Now, what you should watch out for is this is pretty good while you're playing. It's very bad for keeping records of things though, is that anytime you change anything at all, all those random numbers automatically change. So that's a pain for record keeping. If you want to make sure that those random numbers don't change and you're always working with the same ones from now on, you're going to have to paste a special, paste those values. So you're going to copy that random number column and then you're going to paste it again as values. So that was a quick demo of what binary simulation looks like in Google Sheets. It's the same in Microsoft Excel. And if you had fun here, then there is plenty more on my channel. So don't forget to hit that little subscribe button and do check out the links in the description below for blog posts that talk more about simulation and for my blog in general. And in the meantime, I'll catch you next time.